I'm Joe Rogan, and this is Fear Factor. The stunts you're about to see were all designed and supervised by trained professionals. They are extremely dangerous and should not be attempted by anyone, anywhere, anytime. My looks do intimidate people, and I am going to use it to my full advantage. I'm physically strong, I'm mentally ready, and my goal is to be there at the end and be the one holding the 50,000. When I win, I want to know I kicked your ass. I don't want to win because the guy I'm playing against screwed up. I want to win fair and square. I want to know that I'm the best man. Don't, don't hand me the game. I don't want you to give it to me. I want to take it from you. I have a big family, and what I think is gonna give me an edge is just thinking about them watching me on the show and just knowing that I want to win for myself and for them. I definitely came here with the idea that I'm going to win this money. People call me cocky, but it's just self-confident. I've been a professional Thai boxer for almost 10 years. 22 wins, eight knockouts. I've completely dominated the sport. Next, I'll just go ahead and dominate Fear Factor. I'm the biggest fan of Fear Factor, and I'm ready for anything the show throws in front of me. Not afraid to get dirty, not afraid to try new things, fall off, get hurt. I'm just gonna go out there and give it my all. I'm a small kind of guy, but there's no stopping me. I'm scrappy, I'm a scrappy kind of guy. Sports, athletics, women, whatever you wanna put out there, I can perform better than anything else out there. What's up? What's happening? How you doing, Joe? How's everybody doing? Great. Fantastic. Andy. You six people have been brought here from all over the country for one reason, to stare fear in the eye as you compete for $50,000. To win the money, you'll have to complete three extreme stunts, stunts that will not only test you physically, but mentally as well. If you were too afraid to attempt a stunt, you'd be eliminated. If you try a stunt but fail to complete it, you're gone. But if you do succeed, you'll move on to the next round and be that much closer to the cash. Ready to see your first stunt? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Let's do it. All right, here it is. Woo. You will each be lifted into that box over 100 feet in the air. On go, the bottom of the box will drop out and it will begin to spin. You must keep yourself wedged in the box as it rains on you and begins to spin faster and faster. The two men and the two women that can last the longest before falling will move on to the next round. The other two will be eliminated. We've randomly selected today's order. Greg, you and your tight pants are lucky number one. Great. Woo! You ready? Yeah, let's Come do it. Come on me, dude. Okay. Go get them, buns of steel. <laughs> All right, Greg. <laughs> First of all, what's up with the pants, dude? Well, my girlfriend wanted to see my ass on TV. Your girlfriend wanted yeah, you so to wear this? Yeah. So She's just trying to keep other girls away from you. I think the spandex yeah. is going to be uh, <laughs> an advantage. Help. Yeah, it's going to yeah. help because he's going to be able to hey, move his legs Hey, I give credit to wear those pants. All right, so what do you think about this stunt, man? This we'll see. I think I can do fast. it. No, we'll do it. All right, set the bar high, dude. Thank Good luck. You. All right, thanks. All right. You all right? I'm good. He's I'm figuring it out. Derek's figuring it out. He's a strategizer. Derek's the brain over here. Gregory, creator of Seven Minute Buns, about to step into the shower. All right, this is it. He's going up. You know, you have two minutes to get yourself set. You have two minutes to find a position, right. lock yourself in place. Once you got that, they're going to pop the bottom out. Right. But if you don't find it, it doesn't come. matter. Yep. It's over. OK, Greg, get in your set position. Thank you. 
cold water. No hands? Oh, yeah, he's looking good. All right, he's just locked in with his legs and his butt now. Let's see how long he can hold this. Real simple. Real easy. Right at the front. Right at the front. He looks comfy. <laughs> Look at him, he's just sitting I there like he's in a chair. I think he'll make six minutes. I think easy. He looks comfy. Dude, he looks He's good. got a good position. Yeah. That's a pretty smart yeah, way to be. This is going to be tough to beat. I can't believe he's been up there eight minutes. You guys want to go get some food? Come Seriously. back? <laughs> My strategy was to just pick a spot, focus, and just zone out. I kept telling myself, strong mind, strong body, and I just did not want to give up. Wonder how long this guy can keep doing this. It's definitely not comfortable. It's cold. Uh oh, he's moving around. He's adjusting his hands. He's getting tired. Oh, there he goes. Hey. Official time is 17 minutes and 55 Woo. seconds. You know, they say that. The muscle guys don't do well on Fear Factor. I'm gonna prove that wrong. 17 wow. minutes, 55.1 awesome. seconds. Wow. Wow. You set the bar very high, dude. You must very be good, freezing. Brother. I, I know you're freezing. soaking wet here. That water is cold as hell. I'm gonna take Kit out and why don't you go get into some dry clothes. Kit, Thanks. come with me. All right. Go. Good luck. All right, Kit. 17 minutes, 55.1 seconds. That's a long time. I know you got strong legs, a world kickboxing champion. So, yeah. but have you ever been in a situation where you had to just hold your legs up yeah, like that? Yeah, you know, not, not daily. That doesn't really not come really, up yeah, too yeah, often. No. What about cold water? Hate it. Well, it's a pretty straightforward kit. You know exactly what you have to do. Are you ready? Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Good luck. Thanks, babe. All right, dude. Thank you for flying cold and wet airlines. We'll be ascending to an altitude of approximately 100 feet, where you'll be cold and wet and uncomfortable. Look at you all dried up, wearing some normal pants and everything. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> How's Kit gonna do? <laughs> as long as he does underneath 17 minutes and 55 seconds, I'm a happy guy. All right, get in your set position! When that rain hits, I don't know. Time to beat to move on is 17 minutes, 55.1 seconds. In three, two, one, go! All right, bring on the rain! Oh, that whole water thing sucks. You might just quit because of the cold. You must keep yourself wedged in the box as it begins to rain on you and spin faster and faster. Oh, that whole water thing sucks. Like, oh, no. He's thinking, He's a bit oh, cocky. It sucks. A, a bit cocky. He does not like the cold. You can tell. Look at his face. Uh-oh, uh his head dropped. Uh-oh, what's he doing? Grabbing his jeans yeah. for dear life, trying to stay up there. He looks like he's hurting. Uh, flipping. Flipping. He is flipping. He he's is. looking around. Look, his butt is way yeah. lower than his feet now. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Oh. 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 853.1. Congratulations. Thank you move you. on to the Thank next you. round. All right, 853.1. Not weak. so hot, dude. It's weak. It's, uh, what happened? I was frozen, dude. I was so <laughs> frozen. I was so frozen. You looked there. really uncomfortable. Dude, I, you were in there like, ugh. It sucked, so dude, it what, did you, do you think you dropped because of the cold more than anything? Definitely. Yeah? De I was just shaking in there. Derek, you know what you got to do? Is, that's it. 8.53.1. If you beat that, you move on to the next round, Kit goes home. You ready? Let's roll. Let's roll. Come on, dude. All right. Come on. Let's do it. Let's go. Go. Hey, Derek. 
All right, what do you do for a living, Derek? I'm a hairstylist. Well, you're standing all the time. That's what I was going to bring it up, bro. Come on, I'm man. Right. You got some leg endurance, no right? Doubt. No doubt. <laughs> Does that help at all? Yeah, we're going to find right. out, brother. All right, all you have to do is 853.1, rough, tough kickboxer goes home, hairstylist moves on. Wow, imagine that. You ready that, to do right? it? Imagine that one. Let's Are do you it, ready? Brother. Let's right, do it, bro. baby. Good luck. Thanks, brother. I don't know, Kip. How you feeling, man? Think you're going home? Nah, nah, no? I'm staying. Nah, I'm staying. He's not going to be able to hang? Nah, I'm staying. It would suck if he did, though, right? World champion Thai boxer gets beat by a hairdresser. <laughs> yeah, that hurt. <laughs> All right, Derek, get in your set position. Oh, he's slipping already. Oh, oh he's got short legs. That's definitely going to work against him. That's it, dude. Oh, it's all okay. It's nice to meet I'm you, man. Sad. Take it easy. Whoa. I gotta send you off. Whoa. Nice to meet you, dude. See you guys Bye, Ken. I've got 22 wins, one loss, eight knockouts in the ring, and I'm 0-1 in Fear Factor, and that just sucks. For me to come home having lost on the first day, oh my goodness. I'll be hearing that one when I'm old and gray. <laughs> Congratulations, Derek! You can let go now! Yay! Good job, Dad! Well, well, well. Rough, tough kickboxing gets set home by a hairdresser who never works his legs out. Congratulations, you move on to the next round. Stacy's up first for the ladies. Let's go do it. Come on, kid. Good luck, Stacy. All right, Stacy, you are up first for the ladies. Did you get pumped up watching the guys do it? Yeah, I liked watching them do it because we liked got the, it? I liked the technique that they had, and I think it worked good for them. Now, what do you do for a living? Uh, hairdresser. So you're standing up all the time, too. Don't underestimate you represent, them. represent That's the right. hairdressers? That's right. Cool. All right, you ready to do this? I'm ready. Good luck, Stacy. Thank you. All right. It's all or nothing right here. All right, Stacy, you are setting the bar for the ladies. Get into your position. Trying to get set. She's got two minutes to get set. If she doesn't get set in two minutes, they drop the bottom. This does not look good. Whoa! Oh, this is oh my god, get oh, up! Dude. Oh, no. oh, this is scaring me. She's oh, got less face. than one minute. Oh, face. oh no. This might be awful. Oh, she got it. Oh, okay, that makes me nervous. She's locked into place. Time starts now. Here comes the range. It took a lot of energy for her to get set. She's already burned her legs out a lot here. She looks like she's on her tiptoes on her right leg. It's like she's her tiptoes. Her right foot is not set in there good. Oh, come on. Shoot. Come on, babe. Oh, I don't think we're going to be seeing 18 minutes out of no. Stacey. No. Oh, my God. Susan, you're the shortest one that can't be making you happy right no, here. No, I'm nervous. Boom! There oh. she goes. No. We lost her. 123.1. 
Yikes. That made me nervous. Stacy! What's up? Gotta give it up to you guys. That is hard. We were worried that you weren't gonna get in there before I the two would minutes. Too. You worried about Susan here? I hope that you can reach in no. into the corners. Tough, huh? Yeah. 123.1. Susan, you gonna be able to beat that? I hope so. Let's I'm gonna try. Out. Come right, on. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. You can do it. Right, Susan, you a little worried about not being able to get yourself set? Um, yeah, that's my only thing. I think I'm nervous about my legs being too short. All right, now you come from a big family? Huge family. How big? Uh, ten. Ten, ten kids. kids? Yeah. Wow. So you must be very competitive. Yeah, I think I'm competitive. I just don't know if my reach is going to be long Come enough. on, you know you're going to be able to I'm going to stretch stuff. myself. I'm going to. Are you ready, Susan? I am ready. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> I just, I think she's going to have to wedge herself differently. I don't think her legs are long enough to get in the corners. Bring it back tight. Just get out of that wall. All right, Susan, get set! Now, this is the big test right here. If she can pull this off. Oh, she does it easy. What's up, huh? What's up now? Here we go in three, two, one, go! Hang in there, Susan! Congratulations, Susan! You made it! Any bad advice for Casey? Fall. Fall. <laughs> okay. Casey, what do you think about that? Sending her home? I think I'm gonna send her home. Stacy going she, off? She's a nice girl, but I'm gonna send Say her home. Say goodbye. Come on, let's go, Casey. Okay. Casey, it's all down to you. Yep. This is it. I can do it. You can do it. I can do Absolutely, it. Absolutely, right? I'm ready. You do any sports? I'm a horseback rider, so I use my legs a lot. Oh, okay, that's good. Ride. Cool. That's, that's actually probably very similar endurance, too, right? Because you got to hold it. Right. Endurance. Right. Good luck. Thanks. All right, welcome Woo! back, Susan. Congratulate her. Good job. Good job. She has Good job. moved on. And now it's all in Casey's hands. All right, get your set position. She's not looking too steady. Oh, no. See, that's not going to work. Here we go in three, two, one, go. All right, here comes the water. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hold it, Casey. Hang in there, Casey! Stacy, bye. Aww, Very bye, nice meeting Stacey. you. See you, Stacy. Take it easy. The the money was the main motivated factor of why I was here, but nobody likes to lose, especially be out in the first round. So that's real disappointing. Casey, <laughs> good job. Congratulations. <laughs> you have sent Stacy home, and you move on. Congratulations to you all. Good job. Good job, everybody. Yeah. Let's get the hell out of here and see what tomorrow's in store for you guys. Right. Come on.
overwhelmed. I'm a huge fan of Fear Factor. I was coming here, I thought I knew what to expect, but now that we're in our nice formals and our tuxes, I, I'm just really not so sure. I will go on to the third round. Nobody can stop me mentally of eating anything or doing anything nasty that way. I am a sick bastard. There's no doubt about it. I've got to finish first. I definitely think I have a shot. What I think is going to give me an edge is just thinking about, you know, my siblings and their faces and then watching me on the show and just knowing that I want to win for myself and for them and hopefully I'm going to come out on top. I'm not too worried about Casey. Um, of course, I say this and she'll probably come back to win. She's uh, so overwhelmed by the awe of just being here that I think she's going to lose her edge. Fear Factor, party of four. Hello, everybody. How are you? Don't you folks look lovely today? Oh, I thank you. Huh? Thank so you. do you. You don't look oh. so bad yourself. How's everybody doing? Great. Good. As you can see, tonight is a little more dignified than normal. Instead of tonight ending in a rose ceremony like some other shows, we're instead going to have a formal dinner. And what's on the menu have a formal dinner. And what's on the menu is escargot. Fear Factor style. Yeah. Mm, yummy. <laughs> you will each have to eat 12 live snails as fast as you can. The one man and the one woman that can eat the most snails the fastest, up to 12, will make it to tomorrow's finals. The other man and the other woman will be going home. We have randomly selected today's order, and Casey, <laughs> you are lucky number one. Do you like French food? No. Well, that's good, because these come from <laughs> Pasadena. <laughs> you ready to do this? I'm ready. Let's go. Let me help you with this. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Rock and roll, sister. Twelve live snails coming up. I'll pick you out some good ones. Great. Do you like crunchy food? Uh. <laughs> yeah, I like chicken. <laughs> there you go, Casey. Twelve live snails. Remember, this is a race between you and Susan. Okay. Why don't you pick one up? Get a good look at it. <laughs> Ugh. It's gross. Are you ready, Casey? I'm ready. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Oh, gross. No, 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 don't, don't talk. Don't talk. Just chew and swallow. There you go. Oh, go. yeah. Number two. Go, go, quick. Oh. Chew and swallow. Chew and swallow. That crunch is killing Susan. Look at her. <laughs> She's flinching. Come on, Casey, chew and swallow, no problem. There you go, good girl. All right, number three. Don't waste any time, don't touch them, just chew them, throw them in your mouth. They sound really nasty. No, 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 you're gonna be fine. Come on, chew and swallow. There you go, next, go. Pick it up, swallow, quick. Don't touch it, stop doing that, just get it in there. <coughs> you're fine, you're fine. Come on, Casey, you're fine. There you go, good girl. Next, go. What do you think, it's Susan? You gonna be able to do this? I don't know. You don't know? Fired up, Casey's bro. gonna be able to do it. There you go. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, no, no. You're fine. You're fine. Good girl. Number ten. Come on. <laughs> Fifty thousand dollars. This is nothing. You're just gonna get these down. No problem. She's shaking like a leaf. Look at her. Oh. There you go. Nice. Oh, what's so big? That's number eleven. One more to go. Oh, yeah. One more to go, Case. That's it. Wow. Good job. Chew and swallow. No, 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 no. Chew and swallow. Hurry up. Quick, quick. Time. Oh, Whoa. Don't puke. Don't puke. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Keep You're it down. Right. Keep it down. Keep it down. down. Keep it down. 232.6. Casey. How was that? No, I'm all right. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the offer. I really appreciate that. How was it? 
It was disgusting. Was it? I have so much snail shell yeah. in my teeth. It was gross. Now, um, what, what was the little thing when you were slapping them in the head? I was trying to get the eyes to go back in the shell. Good, Good job. job Way to go, kid. Good job, sweetie. Susan, how are you feeling about this? Not good. Not good? No. What's the matter? I just... Two minutes, 32.6 seconds. That's it. You gonna be able to beat that? I'm gonna try. Are you ready? Yep. Give me that plate. Yes, I'm ready. Let's fill it up. Here we go. Susan, get you some juicy ones. You must eat 12 snails faster than 232.6 if you want to make it into the finals. Are you ready, Susan? Mm -hmm. Come on, kid. You're ready, right? Yeah. Get yourself mentally prepared. You know what? So mad. This is what you should do. You should dedicate each one of these snails to one member of your big family. No. <laughs> I know. All yeah. right, Susan, I'm going to count you down. Here All we right. go. In three, two, one. Go! 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 Chew and swallow. Come on. Um, You're eating it fast. Shells are Way close. to go. Mm -hmm. It gets ah. caught in your throat. No way. Oh, my God. Mm -mm. Come on. You're it's doing bad. great. It's, it's so bad. Oh, she's trying to talk you out of it. It gets in your teeth, and it packs oh, in your teeth. Oh, listen to this. She's oh, messing with it you. It does. It packs in your oh. teeth. Come on, You can't Susan. do it. You can't do it. You can oh, do girl, it. Go Come for on. It. Go. You're gonna do it. Don't say you can't do it. You're gonna do it. No, 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 no. Come on, Susan. Easy. Susan, you're fine. Chew them and swallow them. Oh, they're crawling all over the plate. Come on, Susan. You gotta pick up the pace. Go. Go. You gotta eat them faster. Don't shake your head yes. Do it. Come on. Do it. Honestly? You quit. Oh, oh Susan. You know what, Casey? You can go with that's Oh, my God. You just ate four snails for nothing. I don't care. Susan, you lack the mental toughness to be a Fear Factor that's champion, right. and that's I'm right. gonna have to send you packing. I'm leaving. That's fine. I'm going. I'm done. Hey, you're done, sweetie. Uh, did you disappoint your family, you think? No. No, no? way. No, no way? way? No. All right. Very nice meeting done. you anyway. Take it easy. Bye. I thought I'd be a lot more disappointed having to go home, but at the same time, I think that I came here and accomplished what I wanted to do, and that was to show my sisters and brothers that if you set your mind to something, you can do it, even if you don't win. It's just the effort you put into it. Now the race is between Derek and Greg. You will each have to eat 12 live snails as fast as you can. Now the race is between Derek and Greg. Let's do it, baby. <laughs> Let's do it. You excited about this? I'm not too excited. I'm ready to do it, though. Just like an napkin, sir. Oh, thank you, sir. Hey, Gracias. <clears throat> 12 juicy fat boys coming up. It's not pleasant. Derek, this is it. 12. Big, fat, juicy snails. I think we learned yesterday that Greg is a ferocious competitor. You do not want to take him lightly. <laughs> yes, indeed. Ready? Yes, indeed. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Derek's not screwing around. Show me it's done. Done. Go. Two. Whoa. Like lightning. Done. Three. Done. Good. <laughs> Squished it. Doing good. Dude! You got a good rhythm. Got a good snail eating rhythm. Number nine! Nine in the hatch! Good job. Done! Number ten is in the hatch! <laughs> Done! Number eleven. Chew this one down and we got one more to go. Done! Number twelve. This is the last one. You get this down. Good job. A blistering 108.2. Good job. Congratulations, Good job, sir. Man.
You just set the bar very high, Greg. That's true. Good job. You had set it high yesterday, and Derek has set it high today. All right, Greg, this is it, buddy. Hmm. I guess I'll start, start with, with a big, big one. one, huh? Come on, booty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Greg, time to beat. It's Derek's time of 108.2. You beat that, you'll be in the finals. You'll be that much closer to $50,000. Are you ready, Greg? Yep. Here we go. In three, two, one, go! <laughs> Show me when you're done. Done. Wow. Two. There you go. Three. Number four, he's working on number four. Four. Number five, wow. Six, damn. Seven's done. Eight's done. Nine's done. Working on number 10, damn, 10. 11's done, this is it, last one. Time, 44.1 seconds, job, congratulations, Greg. Welcome to the final. Ah. Derek, I'm, I'm very sorry, you did a great job, but. Gas to go. Greg gotcha. Yeah, good job, mm -hmm. Greg. Very nice to meet you. Yeah, very nice to meet you. Good luck, Ryan. Good luck, Casey. I'm disappointed, of course. I wanted to win. I didn't win. Ate the snails as fast as I possibly could, put a strong mark out there, and Greg beat it. That's cool, I can handle that. All right, well, Casey and Greg, congratulations. Welcome to the finals. Now let's get you guys some mouthwash and get out of these monkey suits and see what tomorrow has in store for us. Great. Come on. excited to be here for the third day. Just puts me one more step closer to the $50,000 and I'm not walking away without it. At the end of the day, I expect Joe to tell me that fear is not a factor for me. I feel I've been the best competitor so far, obviously with my time with the first stunt and the time on the second stunt. I just have to go in today, clear my mind and focus like I've done with the other two stunts and I'll come out on top. What's up? Hey. How you doing, man? What's up? How you doing? I'm doing good. That's what's important. Doing good. Congratulations. Welcome to the finals. Thank you. That's it. You've made it. You're here. Yeah. Now, one of you is going to walk away today with $50,000, while the other person is going to go home with a bitter taste of defeat and a belly full of snails. You ready to see your final stunt? Yeah. Yeah. This is it. You will each start out in a car in the back of that semi as it rolls down the road. When the light turns green, you will have to figure out which of the three keys starts the car and then launch the car out of the back of the semi. Whoever gets their car closest to the starting line is going to walk away today with $50,000. We're going to flip a coin to see who gets to go first. Casey, why don't you call it? Heads. Heads it is. You decide who goes first. Okay. Greg goes first. Fantastic. <laughs> Greg, you ready to do this? Absolutely. Come with me, sir. All right. Good luck. Thanks, Casey. All right, Greg, this is it, buddy. All right, man. Good driver? Yeah. Right. Excellent driver. Excellent driver. Yeah. So uh, are you worried about Casey? Think she's a good driver? Uh, no. no. No? No. Are you fairly confident you're going to win this thing or what? Um, I'm very confident. I'm just going to do my best. And I expect Casey to do her best, and whoever the better person is. It's kind of a tricky shot. stunt, though, you know? I mean, it's, it's three keys. You got to keep track of your keys. I think I've been calm so far. I think I'm going to continue calm. to do that. So very calm when you were eating the snails yesterday, man. 44 <laughs> seconds. That was pretty impressive. Thanks. That's pretty ridiculous, too. No, I, don't, I hate to lose. All right, well, this is it. You know exactly what you have to do. You want to get the car out of the truck as fast as possible, because the more time you're in the truck, the further you're going to get away from the starting line. 
That's problem. it, dude. No problem. You're first. All right. She's going to know exactly what she has to beat, but you're going to have the opportunity to just go in there. Set that bar again. Set that bar. Mm -hmm. You ready to do it? I'm absolutely ready. Good luck, dude. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it. The stereotype of the muscle men not doing well on this show, in order to dispel that myth, I have to win everything. Otherwise, they're just going to say, oh, well, he's another dumb muscle guy, you know, and that's not the case. What's up, Casey? Hey. Excited about this or what? Yeah, really yeah. excited. So, Casey, if you win, what are you going to do with the money? Um, I want to go back to school. Yeah? For what? What are you going to go to school for? Equine massage. Equine massage. That's like rubbing horses, right? Right. How long does that take? Um, nine months to a year. I have my own equine massage school. I'll show it to you in five minutes. Okay. You walk Sounds up to the good. horse and you just start rubbing it. And whatever, when the horse goes like this, that's the good spot. That's okay. what he likes. <laughs> I've never seen one do that, but. Well, you I'll obviously trust you. haven't taken my classes. <laughs> Trucks are moving, here we go. All right, remember, he has to figure out which of the three keys starts the car, launch the car out of the back of the truck, and try to get as close to the starting line as possible. When he crosses the line, that's when he gets the green light. There he goes, he's got the green light. He's searching for the keys now. He's got it. Can I do it again? When it hits, you hit so hard, and there's smoke and crap all over your windshield, you can't see anything. Oh, wow, what a rush, man. That was awesome. How was it, man? Good job. Awesome. <laughs> it looked like a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. You launched, man. Look at the car. It's jacked. It's toast. That looked like a pretty big impact. I mean, look, it shattered the back window, broke the axle. That's yeah. pretty crazy. Yeah. So how many fun. keys did you have to go through before you figured out the right yeah, one? I got the first one. The first one. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Sure. Now, when you hit the ground, the car <laughs> kept rolling. Did you try to hit the brakes? Um, you can't. You know, I had no idea what was going on because it just, it's, it happened so fast and the smoke goes all over the place. You can't see anything. I didn't know which way I was going. All right, Casey, this is it, kid. It's all up to you. You have three keys. He got it on the first key. You want to try to get on the first key too? Yeah. If you don't get it on the first key, get it quick because whoever is the closest to the starting line when their car stops is going to win $50,000. All right. Are you ready, Casey? I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay. Good luck, Casey. Thanks. All right, Casey, this is it. It's all down to you. OK? I'm ready. Excited? Yeah. You feeling lucky? Yeah. You said you're going to win this, right? Right. See, that's the beauty of winning the coin toss. You got to see the mistakes that you made, right? Did you learn anything from it? Yeah. I'm going to slam on the brakes. So if you win, you're going to have a little party or something? Yeah, I'd have a party. Come on. Casey wins Fear Factor party? Heck yeah. Go crazy. Drop in Missouri. The whole town will gather around. That's right. Right? <laughs> yeah. You'll be on the front page of the paper, right? Big deal. Yeah. Do you have a paper in Joplin, Missouri? Yes, we have a paper. Do you actually print it on paper or is it like wood and they carve it? It's paper. It's really? <laughs> yeah. For real? It's called the Joplin Globe. Wow. <laughs> A little shout out, Joplin Globe. A little shout out, Casey. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Good luck, Casey. Thanks. All right. All right, Greg, what do you think, dude? Well, I think she's got a serious advantage by knowing the brake when she gets out of the yeah. truck. But you do have a big advantage in that you got the first key. That I do have. So if she doesn't get the first key, even if she hits the brakes, you still probably have it. Well, let's hope so. I'm a nervous wreck. I watched Greg. He did great. 
he rolled back a bit, but he got it fast. He got it on the first key. I have to get it on the first key or I don't have a chance. All right, this is it. She's in the car. She's all strapped in. All she has to do is get closer to the starting point than your car. She's got the money. If not, it's all you. Here we go, we're off! On Schiller, scary good. Hi, I'm TV's Tracy Morgan of Scare Tactics. I've got big news. Stuff's about to get a lot crazier. Oh my God! Hilarious. <laughs> that was rough. Damn! Scare Tactics. Back-to-back -back episodes tomorrow, starting at seven on Schiller. <laughs> 